Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Way of the Hunter, we're gonna be buying a brand new rifle, the Remington 1903. Now, I've been looking in comments, and this gun is popping up all the time. Everyone's saying, try it out, Ron. So that's what we're gonna be buying today. Now, I'm doing a brand new mission as well, called Hunting Literacy. Now, we've gotta kill two female wolves at Transylvania. So we're gonna be doing that one as well. So it's a perfect gun, really, because it's a tier five, and wolves, grey wolves are tier five as well. So it goes hand in hand. So we'll try it out and see how it is. It's got a sort of antique World War sort of two theme to it. I don't know if that's what was used in the war, but uh, that's what it looks like based off visual sort of guidance. What do you think? Drop in the comments. Have you got one of these in real life? Have you used one of these in real life? I always love to see from the hunters in my comments. If they've got any these guns, what they hunt with them, let me know in the comments. Yeah, everyone in the comments has been saying how good this rifle is, how it drops animals, so we're going to try it out today. We're going to go through all the brand new Remington weapons that's just come out in this new firearms pack and look at them individual and take them hunting and see which I like and which I don't. So here we are, closer look. We're in photo mode. I think that's for a belt. To carry it maybe but as you can see it's got a really nice look I love how they've done like the little faded sort of look on the wood which makes sense because I think it's actually made in 1903 the gun um, and that's when it actually first came out so it makes sense why it looks how it is they've added like a worn look to the wood I'd assume it's something like mahogany or walnut or something like that the wood as you can see, it looks really nice. We're going to take it out for a spin in a minute. But yeah, what would you hunt in real life with this? Let me know in the comments. So I've had a look around it. I think it's time to go to Transylvania. Let's start doing our mission. Here we are. Now, if you've seen my previous video, check that out if you've already seen it. I've been going through all the missions on both reserves, objectives, and today we're doing one called Hunting Literacy. Now we're going to kill two female wolves. Now I've been experimenting with times and locations of where to find them in this Regina mountain area. And I found two ponds up the top left hand corner which have grey wolves. So that's who we're actually doing this objective for, that outpost there. But if you go up this road to where my white circle is, there's two ponds in this sort of area for grey wolves. Now the thing is, there's two different drink need zone times at these areas. And if you get one of them, the grey wolves won't be there. And that's the early drinking time for grey wolves, which is like 7 till 10, I think, if I remember rightly. I went there, I've been and wrecked it out, that's why my vehicle's up there, and I couldn't see them. So we're going to try later at night, because they drink at 7pm onwards, come from this outpost, drive up the road, and you see where that ridge is, where my car is, we're gonna drive up and then go up left. With my vehicle all the way up to the top of this sort of mountain, leave my car there and then walk down to the pond. And then we've got an overview over where we're gonna hunt. So hopefully that works out. We'll try that first. We'll start from about 7 p.m. and then go and see if we can find any gray wolves there. See how that works out. I thought I'd try this, show you how it works. And then uh, you'll know if you have to do this mission. So let's just have a look at Grey Wolves in the encyclopedia. So you can see the need zone times. But as you can see, the early drink need zone time is 7 in the morning till 10. I've already scouted this area. It's not really good at that time. The wolves don't seem to be there. So we're going to try 7 onwards. So we've got quite a big time period to cover during that time. But is it going to be do too dark? That's... Um, the real thing is it gonna be too dark i've been on this objective for about a week now i'm not gonna lie uh, i've chatted to stony like where are the gray wolves and he said go up this sort of area and i've been going around everywhere but not seeing them so i'm hoping this pays off and it works out but as you can see <laughs> we could definitely do with some thermals or something vision because this is gonna be quite hard i've got gray wolves on my left really close 
So I'm stealth crouch walking as slow as you possibly can go. And they're literally a big wolf pack on my left. But as you can see, I can't see anything. <laughs> it's really dark. So if we're going to add something, I'd like thermal binos or scopes or something to help with sort of when it gets dark for hunting. Because I literally cannot see anything right in front of me. I've got a whole wolf pack in front of me. I need to get one of these females. So I've been creeping down here for about 20 minutes in the dark. Can't see anything. I just know they're at this sort of pond. So we know the time's good. I think the better play next time. I've got to shoot two, you see. I'm not going to get two in this. Uh, I can't hardly see anything. But if we can get one, we'll return earlier. Wait till they just get here. It'll be a bit lighter. Then we'll try and shoot another one. But at least we found out. We know these wolves at this time. I'm actually happy that I've just found the wolves because, like I say, it's been quite hard to find them. We actually started out, I did have wolves here um, about a week ago. Right, so I singled out a female, I've shot it, I think it's already down. But as you can see, there's no way we're getting two while they're running around in the dark. This is why I wish we had thermal vision or some kinds of scopes to help you see in the dark. It would really help. Now, I know you've got a light, but when you walk, it goes off. When you're still, it lights up, but when you walk forward, it goes off. So, uh, it's not really much of a help. I did try that. I should have really marked it, but I, I know roughly where it should be. But you don't want to be looking around the dark for a wolf. So, that's one of them out of the way. It looks like the 1903 has done its job, the Remington. So, we're going to go over... Collect the wolf, I will look at it, and then we're going to do this again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come earlier and then just wait. Let the time go by and it should be a lot lighter. We'll see how that works out. And this in turn will help anyone else who's got to do this mission. I'm not going to lie, it's been actually quite a challenge to do this uh, objective. But it's been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed it. I think sometimes you do need challenging and to get the best and have fun. It can be frustrating sometimes, but when you do a nice hard mission or objective, you feel a reward when you've done it. So, and it makes you explore the map. So it's it's got a lot of good things about it, and I've enjoyed doing this mission. So there we go. There's one female grey wolf. We need one more. Nice left lung shot. Remington 1903 has done its job. If you didn't know this before, I used to have a wolf dog uh, when I was younger. Yeah, really liked it. So I've got a thing for wolves, I do like them. 35 kilo, female, and there we go. That's one out of the way. Right, let's dial the time back. We're going to go back, and you're going to see me at the pond at an earlier time, and hopefully we can find the same wolf pack. Hopefully we turn. So we'll do that. Wish me luck, and hopefully we've got the grey wolves here. So as you can see, I started at 6 this time, got here for about half past, and the wolves are just coming in. It's about 7 o'clock, so I've had to wait about 20-30 minutes, but look at the light difference. We can actually see our quarry now, so this is a lot more easier to do. So that's what I'd recommend, start at 6, get here for about half past or 22, and just wait. I believe there's another grey wolf mission where you've got to get one at 80 metres or under. So maybe we could do that here, if I tried the caller. Right, let's get this nice and steady. We picked out a female. All the rest are only like one star males, so there's no trophy wolves amongst these. But the female is down. And look at the sky. The sun's just setting, we've got a nice orangey yellow glow. I like the effect, the looks. Transylvania is really fun to hunt. Nespers Valley and Transylvania are totally different as well, which I really enjoy. So yeah, the Remington 1903 has done its job. Wolves are all scattering. But I've really enjoyed this objective. Hunting literacy, it's called. So that should be the objective done. I wonder what we've got to do next. 
I hope in the future they do add more missions and objectives because a lot of people seem to like doing them. I've really enjoyed them. There's not one mission or objective I've done where I thought mm, I didn't really need to do that or there's no enjoyment. I liked all of them I've done up to yet. Some have had a real good challenge to them as well, which I like uh, just enough, not enough to get frustrated, but they've been enjoyable enough to finish. So here we go. Left lung, right lung. As I said, Remington 1903, great rifle. Enjoyed trying it out. It's done its job exactly what it's supposed to. So here we go. Adult female, 30 kilos. we we'll sell that, and that should be the objective done. That's been a lot of fun, a little bit of a challenge. Like I say, the nighttime drinking needs own time is what paid off. There you go, there's the objective done. What we gotta do now? I think we may have to go back to the cabin, see what he's gotta say. Normally when you complete a mission or objective, you go back to where the place that set you it. As you can see, you've got an exclamation mark, and that means there's normally a note or some kind of thing to let you know or thank you. All right, let's go see, shall we? As you can see, permission to hunt required. So when we finish this, we'll probably get free uh, permits. Let's have a look. Some people admire superheroes who can fly and save people, but you know who the true hero is. It's Aldo Leopold. He was an outdoor man since his childhood and later studied at the Yale School of Forestry. Early in his life, he was assigned to kill bears, wolves, and mountain lions in New Mexico. Local ranchers couldn't stand those predators because of livestock losses that incurred. That's how Leopold came to respect the animals. One day he fatally shot a wolf and once he reached her, he was captivated by a fierce green fire dying in her eyes. So he's telling you the story about what's coming up, I think. It's changing forever. He changed the view of mature um, as a mere slave to humanity. So he sort of changed his sort of hunting attitude to sort of more of a humanitarian sort of attitude. So basically, there's a one-eyed wolf we've got to go kill. Put out its misery, I should say. But it's been around for a while, and it's a good explanation. Like I said, you didn't have to add all this backstory, so it just shows you the extra effort. So that's what we've got to do next. True heroes don't wear capes. We're going to get a one-eyed 12-year-old black wolf. That's the next mission. So I hope you enjoyed this mission objective on Way the Hunter. I've had a lot of fun. I'm on YouTube. Please subscribe to YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.